Now, the second vaccination drive begins on Monday. Of course, many are wondering if they are eligible for the shot. Several questions being raised. Many still don't know if, how to get the jab. What's the process like? Sneha Murdani here answering us all these questions. If you are above the age of 60 or between the age of 45 and 59, you are eligible to get a shot against COVID-19. You either choose a government vaccination site or pay a nominal amount at a private hospital. Here is what you can do. Use your smartphone to download the Arogya Setu app. Soon you will find a new tab on this app which will be the vaccination tab. You can provide your mobile number and fill in some minimal details like name, age and gender. Four appointments can be made on one mobile phone. If you are using the website route, you still have to have a smartphone. Go to the website of the Covin software or covin.gov.in. Enter the mobile number or Aadhaar number. You will receive an OTP with which your account will be created. Fix an appointment, get details at the vaccination centre, visit the vaccination centre on the scheduled date and time and get the jab. Those above the age of 45 will have to provide a medical certificate mentioning their comorbid condition at the vaccination centre. This will be given by a registered medical practitioner. The government says given the magnitude of the exercise, they're trying to iron out all the problems. For a couple of days, there were glitches which have been removed since then. And since then, there have been no glitches at all. Now, people who are complaining of the glitches are unfortunately those people or those uh, you know entities where these are data-related problems. The effort clearly this time around is to facilitate as many vaccinations as possible and make things extremely simple. And it is for this very reason that walk-in vaccinations have been allowed, something that was not allowed in the first phase of vaccinations. In New Delhi, Sneha Moldani for India Today. Now, as the country steps up preparations for the second phase of the COVID-19 vaccination drive, Ram Sevak Sharma, chairman of the Empowered Panel on COVID Vaccinations, in an exclusive conversation with India Today, answers all your questions on the COVID software and how can you get yourself a shot of the vaccination, if at all you are eligible. Walk-in vaccinations will be allowed in places, for example, a rural India, remote part of the country, no internet, a person wants to get the vaccine, he knows the vaccination side, he can go and say, I'm eligible, Absolutely. give me the shot? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, okay. Will they be complicated or will they also be, uh, will they be simple? Because a lot of people are like, you know, I don't want to go and stand in a queue, uh, wait for hours together and then come back with nothing. That's going to be a problem, isn't it? So that is why we are, you know, requesting and recommending that uh, those people who want to get themselves vaccinated mm -hmm. and actually want to be assured of the you know, seat, uh, they should do the, the registration. In the, in the registration also, we have, you know, made a provision whether you want to go in the afternoon or forenoon. We can further tweak that particular timetable so we can give an hourly, you know, kind of uh, slots also. That will depend on the scale of vaccination. Suppose somebody is, uh, has the capability of doing 5,000 vaccinations in a day, then every uh, 2,500 being called in the morning and 2,500 at one time in the afternoon will not work. Probably we will have to say that maybe, you know, 500 people can come every two hours and stuff like that. So that's that's what is going to happen. And we will be able to make those kinds of fine-tuned timetables also. Now, COVID-19 situation continues to remain worrisome in the state of Maharashtra. State recorded over 8,000 cases for the third straight day. A total of 8,333 cases were added to the state's COVID tally yesterday. In fact, the state also witnessed 48 COVID deaths. Mumbai alone reported over 1,000 new COVID cases, three deaths in a span of 24 hours. Maharashtra now accounts for over 60% of India's active cases. And the recent COVID spike is the highest since the month of October. Maharashtra government has now appealed to people to follow COVID-appropriate behaviour to contain the virus spread with Chief Minister now warning of lockdown if cases continue to rise. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.